Hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. We are still inside this very frantic factory. Except now we're not going to be because it is time to exit level. Right outside here as Donkey, we have this lever we can now pull. So I do want to pull that. The only problem is if we get interrupted by damage while we're pulling it, it'll stop it. So I want to take out this mechanical zinger first. There we go. Got him taken down. And now let's go and pull that lever. It's very convenient that it's right outside the level, so we can very easily pull that one. And it will activate this elevator right here. So now we can get up top. Let's go ahead and do a little backflip, why not? And right up here, it's time to play some Bobongos. Excellent performance, DK. So we hit that and suddenly squawk, hey buddy! I found another banana donkey, Bork. Yeah, you, you go up there, you play the bongos, and just like that, Squawk brings you a golden bananas. I, I don't, or just golden banana, just not, not plural there. I don't know why he waits until you play the bongos to give it to you, but hey, we now have 50 golden bananas, one-fourth of the way done. But today, guys, we're already done with Donkey Kong, so who are we going to play? Let's head inside, and let's choose the character we just unlocked, Chunky Kong. <laughs> I love that line. All right, so today guys we are gonna be playing the final Kong, Shogi Kong. So let's start off by looking at his moveset. We have our basic attack right here. We have our dash attack, which is pretty cool, kind of like Lanky Kong's with, with a bit less range it looks like. We have our jump attack, which is one of my favorite jump attacks in the game. Not only is it a good attack, but it's also just great for platforming. Love that one. The only one that really rivals it is Lanky Kong's. Uh, we have our backflip, We've got our long jump. We do not have a uh, crouch B, so gonna have to get one of those. So real quick guys, let's head outside and go right on back to Donkey's house. Because we've gone through, we've gone to Donkey's house for all the other characters, so we might as well come here to check out Chunky Kong's idol animation. The final one guys. Well there's that micro idol animation, let's check the big one though. Oh, that happened pretty quickly. <laughs> Good old Chunky Kong, covered in butterflies. It is wonderful. Chunky, stop it! You're being a menace, Chunky! Well, with all that out of the way, let's head back to Frantic Factory. And let's get started. Right away, we have a green banana bundle right here. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. But we don't have the gun. We don't have any unlocked abilities for Chunky Kong either, so there's lots to do. Let's go start by taking warp number one. This will take us right back to the room where we actually unlo unlock Chunky Kong. We get that other five bananas, some coins right here, and we've got plenty of money, so it'll put us right next to where both Candy and where Cranky are. So let's go up and buy our instrument and buy some upgrades here. We actually have two different abilities we can buy from Cranky Kong right now. So we'll get through these critters here. And you know what? Let's start off with the instrument from Candy Kong. In we go. So this is the last instrument in the entire game that we need to buy. Gonna skip the dialogue as usual. I love Chunky Kong's stance right here, but let's press yes. <laughs> triangle Trample. Such a wonderful little instrument. Did Chunky Kong plays the triangle. He plays with butterflies, man. What a guy, what a guy. Let's get back out of here and let's go to Cranky Kong next. We are gonna have to spend a decent amount of coins here, but do we have so many? We have so many coins, it's not gonna be a problem. So right over here, this first one, only three. I've perfected another of my potions, Chunky! All right, so give us our first upgrade here. Let's go ahead and hit yes. And this one is going to be Hunky Chunky. It's basically the opposite of Tiny Kong. So Tiny Kong gets in a barrel and she gets tinier. Chunky Kong gets in a barrel and he gets chunkier. You can now use my special barrel with your face on it. Leap into one and prepare to be amazed as you change size. You'll only be able to remain like this while your supply of crystal coconuts lasts, though. All right, so we got that. This next one is going to cost us another five coins. So let's go ahead and pick that one up as well. All right. So let's go ahead and say yes. And this one is going to be Primate Punch. This one is very important. It has some combat uses, but it's kind of similar to Diddy Kong's Chimpy Charge, where there's certain switches where... We're gonna just require this to even press those switches, so we need this one to get all the stuff as Chunky Kong. 
All you understand is brute force, Chunky, so this should be perfect for you. Press and hold Z and then press B. So this is the crouching B for Chunky Kong. So there we go, guys. We got that one unlocked, and now let's go and immediately put it to use, because directly across from this room is that place that had that fence that we couldn't get through before. But now that we have Primate Punch, we can get right on through it. Man, I wonder if Chunky Kong gets flashbacks. He was sitting inside this crowd for like two weeks while we worked our way to this point in the adventure, but we got him unlocked now. All right, give that a Primate Punch, and just like that, down it goes, guys. So let's go inside. We've got some DK dirt right here. So let's go ahead and blast that one open. Nice one, Chunky Kong. There we go, back up to 29 coins already. Over here, we've got this little question mark block, and we can't actually break this one with Primate Punch. We can break it by doing some butt pounding. So let's go ahead and butt pound that one. And there's gonna be a uh, Chunky Kong face switch right here. So we'll smash that one, and there is a golden banana. Now to get that one, we're gonna want to Primate Punch this switch which will make these things start moving up and down. And while we're riding it, we can grab some bananas up there, as well as go for the golden banana. I want to kill these mechanical zingers first though, but I don't have a gun, so let's just go and do some triangle action and get these guys knocked out. Because they're gonna be a bit of a pain if we uh, have them alive while we're trying to do all this crud. Because this one is on a timer. The, the one where we unlock the golden banana, not on a timer, but this one is. So I wanna not take any more time than I need here. They don't actually tell you the timer, but it, they will eventually go back down. So I want to go up there and get those five. These five. And go over here and get that five. And then jump right across. Just like that, we got our first golden banana as Chunky Kong. Feels pretty good, man. Alright, so from here, let's drop back down. And let's head back on out of here. So we're done with this area. Let's move on through this hallway to the next one. There's going to be another one of those fences that we have to have Primate Punch to knock down. Whoa! <laughs> Almost got hit there. Let's go up, though. Let's hop along this way, and we're gonna go to the, uh, I guess straight across. I thought it was to the right for some reason, but no, straight across here. So we'll go through, punch that guy, and here we've got some more green banana punch coins, so we'll grab all those. And here we have, as well, a golden barrel, so, or golden banana barrel. Let's hop inside and get ourselves some goodies. Time to play a mini game. Welcome to bonus day. The Stash Snatch! All right, collect all the coins and head for the checkered flag. So as Donkey Kong in the maze, we had to sneak. As Lanky Kong in the maze, we had to go bloodthirsty mode. And for Chunky Kong here, we just have to grab some goodies. So we'll go inside and hopefully I will not get too lost. We do have a lot of time on the clock, but we have to go to pretty much every nook and cranny of this entire maze to get all these things. So I'm gonna try to dodge the combat as much as I can. Got a little bit hit right there. Go off to the left and grab this one. <laughs> Walk face first into a grenade. Good job, Chunky Kong. No, I, I can't blame him. I am the one controlling him. I am the player. Uh, but let's go over and grab this one. Got all the coins. And there is a checker. Let's land it. Let's land it on 15, just because we can. Come on. And I no, dude, I waited all that time and then I went too soon. Whatever, man. It's fine. It's fine. Well, with that one done, I want to go and, first off, grab this golden banana, but I think it's about time we head on down to Funky Kong and grab ourselves a weapon. So I'm gonna hop out here, and we're gonna take a right, because this will take us down to the arcade. And right inside here is nothing directly for Chunky Kong, although we can look through this window to get a little view of some things. So right down there is the green Kasplat, and on the wall there, we're gonna have some green coins as well. And you can't see them, but on that far wall, there's going to be some green coins there, too. But if we go take warp number five, that'll take us to Funky, so let's go get that weapon. Right on in here. Let's go in. Oh. <laughs> no, Chunky, do not primate punch Funky. Just because your name rhymes with him does not mean you can primate punch him, dude. All right, guys. My favorite weapon in the game. Let's go. We get the pineapple launcher. I don't know what it is about this weapon, but I just find it so satisfying to shoot. All right, so same tutorial as usual. He's just gonna tell us what buttons to press. So let's get back out of here and check out this crud, my dudes. Yeah. I also just love how he walks while he's holding it. It's so weird, but just listen to this, dude. I don't know. That sound is just so satisfying to me. I love it. Anyways, let's get out of here and let's move on. So right over here, that room we were looking through during the arcade part, through that window, 
here's that room. So let's go inside. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put that pineapple launcher to use. We'll kill off Mr. Dice there. And start working on Kasplat here too. Get lots of game lag. But we got ourselves some green prints. And now we're going to get ourselves some... Nope, nope, nope. Not Trop and Scoff. We're going to get ourselves some green coins here too. I kind of missed my chance at this block going up. So I got to wait for it again. There we are. And if I do this right, I should be able to just jump to the next one. <laughs> so much for doing that right. Hold on. Come on. No, I didn't get it. And now I have to wait for the block. Oh, well. Yeah, if you're, if you're skilled enough, you can just jump that one. All right, so let's go grab that guy. And then on this side, we're going to have two more coins. So we'll walk on over. You know what, Mr. Dice? You get to Mr. Die. Ooh. Okay, up we go. Grab this one. And then I think we can just jump like that. There we are. And then we'll jump along here. And not make it. No, and I didn't make it, dude. <laughs> Oddly enough, if I was just patient, I would have ended up saving time. Oh, well. Let's wait for it. There we are. Okay, so we're done with this room. Next up, I want to go down this way and head towards Snide. I want to go turn in my green prints, but also I want to grab some stuff that's along the way here. And by the way, guys, these guys, Robo Kremlings, we can knock them out with a Primate Punch. So not only instruments, not only the grenades, but Primate Punch can knock them out too. So pretty cool that Chunky Kong has a special way to take those guys out. I think this is the wrong turn. Let's go back here. Yeah, I think Snide's actually down this way. And right above the hatch is also going to be a green balloon. Wow, one shot, got him. Let's drop on down. And inside here, we're gonna have five bananas, three coins, and a chance to turn in our blueprints at Snide and get ourselves a brand new animation, our first time doing one at Frantic Factory. So let's check it out. Alright, pretty cool. Not my favorite. I like the World 2 one better where it kicks the orange across, but you know, poking a little button, that's cool too. And if we check our blueprints, Chunky Kong is simultaneously the only Kong that has one from Frantic Factory, and also the only one that does not have either one from Jungle Japes or Angry Aztec. So, good job, Chunky. You're very different. You're very unique. But we're done here. So let's get back out, and we're gonna take, uh, take warp number three because this one puts us right near the start, where we can, I guess, put our Primate Punch to use once again, knock out these guys. It is a pretty slow attack, but, I mean, hey, we can knock out some Robo Kremlings with it, so it's pretty cool. I don't actually need the Watermelon, so we'll move on. Right over here, we've got Warp number two, so we'll take that one. And inside here, in the last episode while we were playing Donkey, I unlocked a thing that gave us the Arena Pad, which we did as Donkey, but it also unlocked a little section that had some green coins right over this way. So I want to go and grab those. That'll bring us up to 40. Nice, dude. And while we're here, let's go over this way and climb up this guy. Because we've got another one of these fences to punch down. And then we got to play some beautiful music. I'm going to accidentally kill the Kasplat. My music is so good, it kills everyone. There we go. And once we can go inside, we're going to have another green balloon to shoot. Kind of missed there. Try again. Try again. Got him. And we've also got 10 green bananas. It's kind of chilling around the sides here. So let's just slowly work our way through and grab these. And then we're going to have a button to primate punch there. I guess I'll go ahead and get my ammo back while we're at it too. The boxes are here. Might as well get some. And once we have all these, we'll go hit that button. And we're going to have some new enemies as well. So we're kind of going to be a little bit busy while I point out these enemies, but... I'll try to take some time to point them out. So here we go. Let's hit that switch. The door shuts. And the toy box is bursting open. And now we're going to have to fight lots of toys. Mr. Dice popping out right there. Bring it on, Mr. Dice. I've got a gun. Let's go. Oh, got that guy. But we're not done, guys. We've got a new enemy right here. These are called rulers. And they are kind of pathetic. We just uh, shoot them with our crud. And down they go. Come on, let's give me some Sir Dominoes or something. Oh, hey, Sir Domino. How's it going, buddy? Now he's dead too. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got a friend? Not anymore. 
And now, we're gonna have another new enemy. There's gonna be a guy called Super Block right there. We're not gonna get a chance to fight Super Block because they're about to turn into a mini boss fight. This right here, my friends, is going to be the Toy Monster. So we're gonna go and use our Hunky Chunky ability to actually fight this guy because he is gigantic. But now, so are we. Bring it on you, Kron, whoa! So we're gonna go ahead and smack this guy. This guy has a ton of HP. And you can't just go crazy on him because some of your attacks just won't hit. So the strategy that I like to use, oh, is get punched in the face, dude. Now my strategy I like to use is to try and, oh gosh. I like to try to spiral around him with my dash attack, like that. And then just keep trying to hit him in the back, dodging his attack in the front. And it seems to work out pretty well, unless I get stuck there. So yeah, you can kind of just do the hit and run strat. It works pretty well. Yeah, this guy has so much HP. You could go for Primate Punch if you wanted, but it's not going to do a whole lot. And you can't use your gun, you can't use your triangle here. So yeah, it's got to deal with the fact that this guy has a ridiculous amount of HP. Keep chipping away at him, eventually we will win. And he'll drop a ton of HP as well, so I'm not too worried about losing a little bit of HP. As you can see, lots of melons here. We do have to be a bit quick to grab him, because we've got the Golden Banana animation here, but we'll, we'll have a little bit of time to get him. All right, so let's grab some health here. And we're back to full, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go grab that golden banana. And we're almost done with Chunky Kong, guys. We do still have to get another golden banana, though. And the place where it is, well, we have to go where the, fra the factory is definitely frantic. So let's get back out of here. Let's go take warp number two again. And that'll put us back towards the start of the level. And we can work our way towards that very frantic area. So let's drop down. And let's take it. Now right through here, I want to go to this path over this way. It's kind of one of the only places we've yet to go as Chunky Kong. And I gotta do it. I gotta private punch these guys. It's too satisfying. Even if they do actually get a hit on you, you could just hit them again with Primate Punch while you're in invincibility frames for a second. And then they're just gonna drop a bunch of watermelons so you'll just heal back up anyways. So it's pretty awesome. Go grab all these. I want to show you guys something pretty fun with these hatches here. And this kind of goes for any slope in the game or any kind of uh, ledge. If you run up to a thing and crouch like this, you'll slide off and you won't actually take damage as long as you keep holding crouch. So let's drop down here. And you can see we'll drop all the way to the bottom and take no damage, which is really cool. The only problem with this one in particular is I do actually want to get these bananas for Chunky Kong. There's that wonderful banana metal. Right, let's do it again, man. It's too much fun. Let's slide on down. There we go, man. Looks kind of ridiculous, but we're good. Might as well grab some film that I won't use. And let's go back to the frantic area. This is actually where we started the episode, so we're kind of ending in the same place we started. So right inside here, guys, if we go to the left here, we're going to have a switch at some point with uh, Chunky Kong's face. But the thing is, I don't want to hit that yet because it's going to be on a timer, and getting up there quickly is going to be pretty crazy. But if we go grab the other end of warp 4, it'll put us right next to where the golden banana will be. So I'm going to wait to hit that switch until after we grab warp number 4. So the way we start this one is we go over to the lanky switch and we flip underneath it, you crud! Now we got to get on top of this one, just like that. And let's start working our way up, guys. So we go on through here. We have to make it across this very narrow path. I like to jump a little bit. Because walking on it's a bit awkward, so we'll jump along like that. Looking good, looking good. That balloon right there is a purple one. That's going to be for Tiny Kong. So we'll grab this and keep on climbing up. And here we've got some coins. So here we can take our time. These things aren't going to hurt us. They'll just push us along. This path right there with that spiraling cylinder, that is where I do need to go. Right, let me get all these goodies first. Now this area is pretty challenging. There's a lot of tricky jumps on top of a... A little bit of frame lag here, so it can make these jumps a little bit more awkward. Jump along like that. So far, so good. We've got just a little bit further to go here. Right up this way, we're going to have this gigantic spinny thing. And this is the hard part. I need to get on this guy. There's lots of bananas to get as well, but my top priority is getting warp number four. Let's go! I missed it, dude! Can I recover? Can I recover? I recovered! Oh, heck yeah, dude. All right, so we didn't fall too far. Let's get back over there and try again here. I can actually see. Oh, okay. Camera is not cooperating too much, but somehow, somehow we made it work, guys. That was a 
Pretty wild save. I did not see that one coming. Well, that was not that one was not it. Let's try again here. Come on. Get it. No dude. Oh gosh. Let's try that one again. Yeah, this part is pretty awkward to tie, but we'll get it eventually. Oh my gosh, that was so close. <laughs> We're up. I'm gonna try again. This next one will be the one. I can feel it, dude. I can feel it. Yes, we're on there. Okay, so ignore the bananas for now. I just want to grab warp number four. That way, if I do fall, we can just go right back up. There it is, guys. We don't have to make that climb anymore. I do have to get back on this thing again. Oh, camera. Oh, gosh. We'll try again. We'll try again. I'm going to keep pressing R over and over so the camera stays behind me a bit here. And go. Got it. Awesome. Now, I seem to get to the end here. And once we're standing on the end, we're pretty much safe. I'm just going to hang out. Just be very patient. Because this will automatically put us through that one. And then another bundle coming up. So this one right here. So we'll just hang out. And now that we have that, I'm going to work my way towards the other one. Just in a bit further here. And now we'll just once again hang out. It'll put us automatically through the next one. So we'll just chill. And there it is, guys. All the bananas are done. So the golden banana is going to spawn right here underneath this crusher. So I'm going to go and drop down. We'll do that crouch thing I was telling you guys about. If I can. Come on. Come on. Drop. There we go. So we'll drop on down. And then once I hit this switch, I'm just going to take warp four immediately. So let's go butt pound that guy right in the face. Now this one has a huge timer. I think I pointed this out before, but it's 99 seconds. You've got a lot of time. But... You basically, if you start the timer now, before you grab warp 4, then you're going to have to get up there on your first try, pretty much. And I was not confident in my, in my ability to get up there on my first try. So I'm glad that I decided to get this warp first. And now I just have to get on here. If I can. Come on, camera. Camera is not cooperating. So keep on pressing R over and over so it stays behind me. And then let's go for it. Alright, we're there. Now we just have to wait for this guy. Come on. And there it is, guys. Chunky Kong's portion of Frantic Factory is completed! Let's go take a look at that wonderful total screen. Right on over here, we've got the banana metal, the blueprints, the bananas, the golden bananas. And of course, we bought tons of upgrades, the weapon, we got the instrument as well. Lots of stuff done for Chunky Kong here today. But, guys... We're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. You might be thinking about uh, Donkey Kong's blueprints. Well, the Kasplat is off there in the distance. You can slightly see him. But, yeah, we'll get that another time. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.